guys, I wanted to show you how I edit um, my newborn digital images. Um, this particular one um, that is the free digital download from the website um, was pretty seamless for me to edit. Um, my original photo also used the same fluff around baby, so you can see that here. And the final image that I created, although I'm going to redo it today, um, was this image here. So as you can see, um, you know, it doesn't look like baby wasn't there. Um, I was able to edit it really quite quickly and seamlessly because I had um, used the same fluff. So when you're choosing um, an image to work with, try to shoot with um, the same fluff that is in the final digital image or something that's got a similar texture and color. And you're going to find that your composite is going to be so much easier to do. So first of all, we're going to take um, the original image and there's a couple ways to do this. The way that I find it easiest if you've used the same fluff is to just take a large um, portion. Oops, I've got my patch tool here. So let me take my lasso tool, sorry, and go all the way around baby, making sure that there is fluff surrounding her head and her whole entire body um, and that way you're going to retain the shadows of the original image so that it, it looks believable. So you're going to copy and paste into the digital. Okay and now we want to transform baby so that it looks like she's fitting in the basket. So just decrease the opacity of that level there. Okay, and then control T to transform. And you just want to move her around. Now, I did that little tilt there without explaining why, but I know that my lighting is coming from the left hand side of the image, kind of towards the top. So you can see that the light's falling on baby's face in that same way. So that's why I've tilted that image. Um, and that sort of looks like baby would naturally fit in that space there. I could make her just a little tiny bit bigger. You don't want to go too big, but you also don't want the scale of the flowers to look off as well. So that looks pretty good. So um, click there. And what I'm going to do is just um, increase the opacity of that level a little bit so that I see what I'm working with and I'm just going to erase off the edges. Now um, if I make a mistake I want to be able to go back so what you're going to want to do is um, make this a layer mask. Okay so click on that layer mask um, and you can either paint her back or just um, take away from the outside of the image. Okay um, so what we're going to do is use a black brush and you can really use a soft brush. You don't need to use a hard brush for this particular step and just brush away where you can sort of see, um, you know, want to leave as much fluff around baby as you can because I find um, then you're going to have a much more believable looking um, image in the end. Okay. There we go. So we're just going to take lots of that fluff along the outside, make sure that there's nothing covering those flowers. And I'm just going to make this image a little bit bigger. I'm going to get a little closer in as well, but I'm going to decrease the opacity of my brush. Okay. And I'm just going to go in again and take off a little bit more. You can actually see that the fluff in my original image is just a little bit less creamy than the digital fluff. And it's got a tiny bit of a pinker hue in, in this outside fluff than it does in the middle fluff. I can almost see like a little bit of cyan or green in there. So before I merge the two layers together, um, what I'm going to do is just add a color balance layer on there. And I'm just going to increase a little bit of red and a little bit of magenta. Okay. And then I'm going to invert that color layer and I'm just going to paint it back on that fluff just a little bit so that I'm balancing. There we go. Now it's a little bit too much. I'm going to have to take down the opacity of that. 
but I want to just make sure that my fluff is matching a little bit closer to what it was in the digital. So I'm just going to take that down a little bit. And you can sort of see that's all the way down. I want to add back a little tiny bit of that in there. And that looks pretty good. A little bit too much pink in here. It really depends on how you like to edit your images too. It's We're pretty open to, you know, finish them off the way that you like. Edit them the way that you like. If you're lighter or brighter or darker or warmer or cooler, it's still got to look your style. So um, you want to make sure that the image can look your own. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is merge the layers and I'm just going to fix this wrap around baby so it looks a little bit rounder. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. You can see there's lots of fluff. It kind of meshes right in um, with the digital. Um, I might just clean up a little bit here. But what I'm going to do is flatten the image and then control J. I'm going to add another layer in there. And then I'm going to come up and use my patch tool and just kind of pull in a little bit of that. Um, oh, that's a little bit yellow. So you can just kind of use your patch tool. The patch tool for this particular texture looks pretty soft. So um, just go around and kind of mash the layers together a little bit more so that they look like they flow together. That looks pretty good. I don't really love this line up here next to baby's head, so I'm just going to um, soften that up a little bit with my patch tool. Okay, that looks pretty good. See, I've got little shadows along here, but that's okay because that's how baby was in the original image, and, and she is indented a little bit into that fluff, so that looks really believable. Okay, so I'm going to merge that, flatten the image. And I'm going to do it one more time again. I'm going to liquefy her body in. So always I um, add a layer mask. So I'm going to control J. And then um, we are going to go to the liquefy tool. And I'm just going to bring her in. I've got my brush size at 300 here. I just like to kind of round out baby's wrap a little bit. You don't want to make it look like her body doesn't fit there, but I usually keep baby's diaper on so that we don't have a really messy setup. Um, so you can see that a tiny bit under there. I will just fix that right in the end there. Um, and I want to be careful a little bit with her hand, but I can erase that out in a sec. So just make her look a little bit rounder. And I feel that that's really cute. Slightly different than how I did it in the original image that I composited it, but you'll find each time you do it, you're going to do something slightly different, and that's okay too. Okay, so just press OK. And there's the difference with our wrap. I think it looks pretty cute, nice and round in there. What I'm going to do lastly is just soften things up. So I'm going to flatten that image. And I'm just going to kind of soften around her wrap because I saw a little bit of her skin through in here. I want to make things a little bit more seamless. So again, control J. This time I'm going to take a brush, a nice soft brush. 28% opacity is good. Remember, we can always go back because we've got that extra layer on top. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of softening in here and add it a tiny bit to her. Wrap. I'm going to take a bit of this off too, so don't worry if it looks too much. Again, everybody has a different way of kind of finishing their images off. I like to just have it flow seamlessly in there and then decrease the opacity of that level until you're just softening it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so flatten the image there and um, I'm just going to add a levels adjustment layer. Okay, so what I do is you'll see this little grid over here when you open up your levels adjustment. Bring that over until you start hitting any red in the image. And there it is right there. So I don't, I want to go back a little bit. That's just going to brighten up my image a little bit and pop those whites. So flatten that layer. And then I always like to add a little bit of um, an outside layer of 
lightness or whatever color I'm using um, using the Aaron Toll paint box um, action. And so I'm just going to run that on um, the outside color just being white because that's what the base of my digital was. Okay, adds just a little bit of um, a white finisher on the outside. And then again, you'll see that that layer I can just brush off. That's way too harsh for me. So just use a black brush on that layer. And I'm just gonna increase the opacity of my brush and brush it off. Because the florals don't look real if you're, if you're keeping it on there. So what I wanna do is kind of keep it on the outside of my image. And then I'm just gonna take down the opacity just to about 18%. And then it's like a really pretty finished image. Okay, last step that I'll do is sharpen it up just a little. I use the Florabella sharpener and you'll see that adds just a little bit of pop and I actually do bring the opacity down to about 30% and that's my final image. Okay, hope you enjoyed watching me composite this image. I'm going to try to do one of these each week and that way you can follow along and try it yourself. Thanks for being here.